Hello, my name is Natalia. Today I'm going to try to dye a piece of clothing with beads. I'm going to use this shirt that I already dyed with indigo, but I wanted to have a pink ground and we'll see, maybe I'll turn the indigo purplish, I'm hoping. I haven't found too much info about dyeing clothes with beads, so this will be kind of a fun experiment and we'll see how it turns out. I read online somewhere that you can mordant cotton with vinegar to prepare it for vegetable dyes, so I'm going to try that. It said to use 4 parts water to 1 part vinegar and to boil the cotton fibers in that solution for about an hour. Hmm, okay, so 4 cups of water and 1 cup of vinegar isn't anywhere near enough liquid to fully submerge this t-shirt. I'm gonna add more water and vinegar. That's better. Now that it's boiled for an hour, I'm rinsing it out in tap water and squeezing it out. Besides the t-shirt, I'm going to test dyeing two fabric strips. One of the fabric strips I'm warranting in my usual way with aluminum acetate and assisting it with calcium carbonate. That's how I normally mordant cotton. And then the second strip I'm mordanting with potassium aluminum sulfate and assisting again with calcium carbonate. This way I'll know if vinegar actually worked as a mordant or not. My t-shirt and my two test strips are mordanted and ready to go now. Time to get to work on creating the dye. I'm gonna use one organic beet and I'm cutting up in small chunks. Wow, I am not doing this gracefully. I swear this isn't the first vegetable I've chopped in my life. I've got a saucepan halfway filled with water, just about boiling, and the beet chunks are going in there. I'm letting the beets boil for about an hour. Oh, looks like the water's already getting a lot of color to it, so that's kind of a good sign. It hasn't quite been an hour yet, and I'm running out of water because it's boiling off. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this. Meanwhile, I'm heating up water in the big pot that I'm going to be doing the dyeing in. It's reached the temperature of 180, so it's ready now. Time to add the dye to the dyeing pot. I'm using a strainer this time, trying to learn from my past mistakes. Giving it a quick stir. And the t-shirt and the strips are going in there. Beat t-shirt soup, anyone? I let it sit for a couple hours, but looking at it now, I don't feel like the dyes really grabbed onto the fabric. So what I'm gonna do is leave it sitting like this overnight. All right, it's the next day, but honestly, the color still hasn't gotten that much darker. Mm, kind of disappointed. But it is what it is at this point, so I'm just gonna squeeze out the garment and finish it now. I'm still letting it hang and cure for a while outside, but as you can see, it's not very pink. Okay, so dying with beets didn't really work. So this is basically what colored this shirt was before I dyed it. the same it's not really pink and even my little test strips that I mordanted with actual mordant so this is what this fabric looked like before anything it 
it's the same. So I noticed that the beak did produce color and you could see that the water had color in it. But the problem was it just didn't stick to the cotton fabric. Maybe other fibers could be dyed with it. Maybe it would be better with like animal fibers like wool. I could have done some stuff different. I could have used more beads for one thing, but like how many beads would it take to dye one t-shirt? And it was an organic bead, it was like 50 cents. Maybe a different mordant could work. One that I didn't use, even though all three of the ones I attempted didn't work. That website that said that uh, I should mordant vegetable dyes with vinegar, I went back to look at it and it was taken down. Like, the website's gone. It's like they knew I read it and I tested it and it, they took it down. Another thing I could have done is boil the dye with the fiber. I've heard of maybe people doing that. Maybe you can still dye cotton with beets. I just didn't figure it out this time. So I'm still gonna post this video even though it was kind of a fail but I think it's important to at least put out like this is what I've tried and this didn't work so other people who might want to try this could at least watch it and be like okay these things didn't work I should do something else my next video is going to be dying with indigo so that is gonna work out because I've done this many times anyway thanks for watching <laughs> Bye. <laughs>